We begin by creating an incision into the anterior chamber. At this point, we inject both anesthetics and then a viscoelastic agent, which fills the anterior chamber and maintains the space to allow us to perform our surgery. A keratome blade is then used in order to make a clear corneal incision. This is a steel blade. Then using a bent needle, we will begin to perform the capsularexis. And the capsularexis is the opening to the anterior capsule of the capsular bag. The idea is to open the capsule in a circular fashion called a continuous curvilinear capsularexis. This then provides us access to the cataract material and ultimately a place where we will put our intraocular lens implant. With forceps, we now take the edge of the capsularexis and create the circular opening. It is essential to have a very good red reflex in order to be able to perform this part of the surgical procedure. Once the capsular excess is performed, we then take balanced salt solution and we inject it within the capsular bag, separating the cataract material from the capsule. Once the cataract material is loosened, here I've rotated it and now the cataract is placed in a perpendicular position. We take the fake emulsification handpiece and using the ultrasound from this machine, the cataract material will be emulsified in its entirety. A second instrument is now placed into the eye, holding the cataract in position while the fake emulsification handpiece removes the material. Once the dense cataract part of the lens is removed, we use the irrigation and aspiration handpiece to remove the softer outer layers of the cataract known as the cortex. The goal is to completely clean out all of the cataract material from the capsular bag. Here a viscoelastic material will then be injected, inflating the capsular bag, providing the space required in order to insert the intraocular lens implant. Often we enlarge the wound in order to insert our intraocular lens implant. This is an inserting, an unfolding device that has the lens in, in it and now with a dialing motion the lens will be dialed into the capsular bag. This is a crystal lens and as one can see the lens is a very mobile and flexible lens which provides this lens its unique properties. With a Kuglin hook, the lens will be placed into the capsular bag. The haptics are being dunked within the capsular bag so that the lens now is sitting where we want it placed, and that is within the center of the capsular bag. We then remove all of the viscoelastic material with the irrigation aspiration handpiece. At this point, the eye is being filled with balanced salt solution. Balanced salt solution will also be injected into the eye and then be used to close each of the corneal incisions, creating a watertight seal. Therefore, sutures are not required. Here, the lens is well centered and the case is completed.